أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله اللهم لا سهل إلا ما جعلته سهلا وأنت تجعل الحزن إذا شئت سهلا رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي Dear brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته MashaAllah, you still have energy after three days of intensive program. But I only heard the first line. I would like to hear everyone else. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Truly, I am very honored. I'm very pleased to be at Muna Convention. Muna has a special place in my heart, and I'll tell you why. I know Muna for many, many years now. The best team I ever worked with, they were all Muna brothers and sisters. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all. First of all, I want to congratulate Muna, its leadership, the brothers and sisters who organized this wonderful convention. MashaAllah, Mabruk, congratulations. You have not only doubled the numbers, but you have strengthened the trust of the community with the leadership. That's what it means when the numbers increase, when people come to the convention. You have made a great stride in making sure your community come together. This is what's all about. We are coming together for the common good. America should be proud of you. America should be safe because of you. America will be prosperous, inshallah, with you. Because in this convention, you are teaching goodness. You are calling for the good, trying to forbid the wrong. Try to line the people with the moral standing. Trying to educate people about the danger that can penetrate our communities and our societies at large. They should be thankful that you bring the community together to protect it from the ills of society, from the drugs, the crimes, the gangs, there's so many things that happen in our society that eats it. That tears it apart. And you're trying to build a model family, a model community for the ultimate of a model society. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, encouraged us. He gave us a mission. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Waltakun minkum ummatun yad'oona ila al-khayr. Wa ya'muruna bil-ma'roofi wa yanhawna anil munkar. Wa ulaika hum al-muflihun. That's the mission we have. And insha'Allah, you are taking the mission to where it should go. We have to call upon the goodness. So congratulations. May Allah bless you all. All those who spend days and weeks and months in preparation for this convention. The U.S. Council of Muslim Organization 
is a response to the call of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we very often recite in our khutbah in Jum'ah in our lectures but we never truly manifested its meaning its actions on the ground when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us وَاَعْتَصِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا Just like إِنَّ الصَّلَاةَ كَانَتْ عَلَى الْمُؤْمِنِينَ كِتَابًا مَوْقُوتًا This is an order, this is an order. We do our salah, we did not do much of our unity. So the U.S. Council of Muslim Organizations responded to the call of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we all came together. My gratitude, my thanks, my appreciation to the Muna leadership who were among the first to respond, to sit at the table and to say, yes, we will be together. This is what the U.S. Council of Muslim Organizations is all about. We started with a group. We discussed the need of the Muslim Ummah in America, the Muslim community to come together. We assessed our strength, our weakness, the challenges we face, the opportunities we have, the threats that surround us. And then eight major organizations decided to form the U.S. Council of Muslim Organizations. Muna was one of those first eight to say yes and to be on the board. Muna, Mass, ICNA, CARE, AMP, MLFA, MANA, and Imam Warathuddin Muhammad. Eight organizations decided to say, لَبَّيْكَ Allahumma, Yes, we will come together, especially in America. Because our unity is our strength. And through our strength, our voice will be louder. And when you, we are heard by others, they know we exist in America. And when you exist, you have equal rights. However, we have also obligations. We have rights in this country, and we have obligations in this country as well. So when the council was formed, and we start working together on many different projects, many different initiatives, Mona was always there. Muna was always there. Any time, any project, any event, we organize, I call up on Muna. Muna is there with the largest number of participants. May Allah bless you all. Wallahi, and I swear and Allah knows how much love, appreciation, and gratitude I have for Muna leadership and MUNA members. They never failed me, they never turned me down. Anytime we ask, they are there to help. In any state or city, they are there to help. Brothers and sisters, that's your strength. That's your quality. That's your pride. Hold dearly to your heart. This is what makes you different. This what's going to make you victorious. This how you are going to survive and not only survive, but also to be a role model. Nations are not necessarily by the tall and the white and the wealthy and the healthy. Nations are by how much principles and values they cherish in their hearts and they implement on the ground.
That what make nations different. When the Prophet ﷺ built the Muslim Ummah, small in Medina, they were very weak, very poor, compared to the dynasties, to the empires that are around them. But the values, the ethics, the morals, justice, human rights, dignity, was the guiding and founding principles they were able to overcome dynasties empires that wanted to completely vanish them instead they multiplied they flourished they shared the goodness with the world the world seen freedom the world seen light. As long as we follow this model, as long as we have faith in what we have, we will never be weak. We will be tried. We will be tested. You think that we can say we are good Muslims without being tested? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to stay on the course. That's the biggest test for all of us. So brothers and sisters, Alhamdulillah in America, we grew from eight organizations to almost 35 organizations now with the major councils in major cities joining the U.S. Council. From New York to Chicago to California to the Northwest Pacifics to other national organizations, they are all part of the USCMO. Relief organizations are part of USCMO. And we will continue to grow because this is the test of talking versus walking. Do we continue to talk about unity and invoking the ayah وَعْتَصِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا without implementing, without following this. Either we follow this ayah or we follow our ego. That what kills this ummah, it's ego, the ego of some of the leaders in this ummah who destroy the ummah so that they can stay in power. They are willing even to act against Muslims, against Islam, against our own faith. We have seen this in many Muslim countries. So brothers and sisters, there is much to hope for despite the many challenges we face. Challenges are part of life. Without being challenged, you will not have the nag, the energy, the push to do better. Yeah, I say we're lucky with Donald Trump. Some they say, really? I say, oh yeah. Donald Trump is doing us a favor. Donald Trump is keeping us working. Donald Trump is not giving us the luxury of laziness of sitting back on our chairs and singing Akuna Matata. Trump is telling us to be strong, you gotta stand up and fight for your rights. Donald Trump brought many supporters for us. 
Donald Trump exposed many of those Muslim countries who claim to be Muslim leaders to see who they are. Donald Trump brought to the top of the table, not under the table deals, but he showed how billions of dollars is spent on military equipment to kill other Muslims. Donald Trump was truthful in what he believes in. All these billions of dollars, brothers and sisters, were spent in the past under the table. Donald Trump made it clear that everybody can see the deal. So brothers and sisters, as Americans, we have an obligation. I told you we have rights, but also we have obligation. Our obligation to America and to the American people, that we know more than they know about what is going on in the Tahut area, in the Muslim world. That American money, the taxpayers including you, the men and women been used to protect tyrants who kill their own people without justice, without even fair trials. Our government should stop supporting tyrants. That's against the very foundation of this nation. We have to be, we have to be those who awakens the conscience of America. They expect us to speak up. And I can guarantee you and assure you, we will speak up in every occasion. So brothers and sisters, we have a task. We have obligations. We have opportunities. We have opportunities. We have met with many members of Congress. They were happy that we are speaking up. We met with many people. They are grateful that we are speaking up. And we told them we will continue to speak up. You need to keep your door open and we will come with the truth because no matter how lies can float around Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised لِيُحِقَّ الْحَقَّ بِكَلِمَاتِهِ وَيُمْحِقَ دَابِرَ الْكَافِرِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised and told the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to say it وَقُلْ جَاءَ الْحَقُّ وَظَهَرَ الْبَاطِلِ إِنَّ الْبَاطِلَ كَانَ زَهُوقًا قُلْ جَاءَ الْحَقُّ وَزَهَقَ الْبَاطِلِ إِنَّ الْبَاطِلَ كَانَ زَهُوقًا Batil will always be defeated but it is upon us the challenge to speak up for the truth. Yes, my time is up. But as a community, our time is not up yet. As a community, we still in the beginning of our marsh. I implore you, brothers and sisters, after this convention, make sure everything you learned in this convention, you take it to heart, take it to your community. Be an active community, as I always know you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put barakah in your work. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide with wisdom and courage your leadership. 
May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us all. Jazakumullah khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Takbir. Alhamdulillah.